you represent the part of Madelon Regional High School that we as a community are most proud of. You represent the choice between action and inaction, and we are confident that you will continue to grow, not just academically, but emotionally and socially, and continue to act as responsible and contributing members of this society, so that each of you can reach your maximum and untapped potential, potential that you may not even be aware exists at this point in your life's journey. Please join me in congratulating our inductees as they advance to this next very important chapter of their lives. Thank you, welcome, and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you, Dr. Micah. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Madelon Regional High School Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards of the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantial charge to each one of our members. Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, care, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. At this time, will the new inductees please rise 
Raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. The audience can follow the text as printed in your program. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which, to which I have been selected I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Thank you. You may be seated. And now, as your name is called, please step forward onto the stage to receive your certificate. Sarah Abiward. Gianna Ayala. Natasha Allen. Barbara Almeida Valentine. Brianna Badalado. Alexis Belletti. Dorothy Brussel. Vivian Capagrasso. Ashley Chambers. Olivia Calavito. Julia Collin. Juliana Corbett. Lily Costantino. Nathan De Jesus Vaz. Krista De Michelle. Pesindu Zaraganda. Rachel Zarina. Luke Elliott. Tiana Ellis. Amanda Escher. Christian Facini, Jason Fleissner, Thomas Fleissner, Megan Frappier, Dylan Fry. Jack Gardell, Samantha Gibbons, Ashlyn Gorman, Andrew Hall, Samantha Jackman. Leah Joby. 
Amanda Kelly, Jessica Lavinger, Morgan Lipinski, William Lee, Allison Lombardo, Abigail Lobo, Julia Mandarino, Emma Marolda, Maya McFadden, Riley O'Donnell, Rachel Oksa, Stanley Pluschek, Skylar Paris, Richard Pluff, Sophia Politis, Owen Rentschler, Ava Ricci, Isabella Scorzelli, Maria Cedric. Amanda Tubner, John B. Bengala, Sophia Valenza, Shiloh Warnke, Jabbar Union. And now, please welcome our principal, Mr. Eiler, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for attending tonight's ceremony. Um, I have some brief remarks, but before I begin, I would be remiss if I didn't take a couple moments just to thank some important people who made tonight possible. First, I'd like to thank our superintendent of schools, Dr. Jay Micah, Board of Education members, and members of Central Office Administration for attending tonight's event and celebrating with us. Thank you to the high school administrative team for the work they do in supporting these programs and for lending a helping hand to the students and to the advisors throughout the organizational process. Thank you to the executive board of the National Honor Society for conducting tonight's festivities and for running the presentations that you've seen tonight. I'd also like to ask the newest members of the Madelon Regional High School National Honor Society to please rise and join me in a round of applause to honor the teachers, friends, and loved ones who are both in the audience and at home who have supported you throughout your journey and provided you with the necessary support to make this night happen. Last, but certainly not, not least, could everyone please join me in a nice round of applause in thanking our NHS advisors, Ms. Rebecca Groninger and Ms. Christine Palumbo, for the hard work that they have done with this group. These two amazing staff members have gone through this year. The work that they've done this year speaks volumes about the importance in which they approach their work, but even more importantly, how much they care about your children and making sure that the National Honor Society is viewed with dignity and respect. 
Thank you. The National Honor Society was founded in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals with the goal of recognizing students, exactly as we've heard tonight, for exceptional work in scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Tonight, you are inducted because you have demonstrated excellence in these areas. As the principal of Madawan Regional High School, I am incredibly proud of all of you for the hard work that you have done to be granted admission to this prestigious organization. Now that you've been officially inducted, it is critical to understand the gravity of this accomplishment. You've worked hard throughout your K-12 career, met the criteria for admission, and are one of 56 students who have been inducted. The standard for admission is high. The expectations, though, for continuing as a member are even higher. You'll be responsible for demonstrating continued dedication to your studies, while also taking the most rigorous coursework. You will need to take initiative in the classroom and school activities, while also making sure that you are the catalyst of new experiences for your peers. You will need to be an asset to the community, while also finding new, creative ways to make a lasting impression on the lives of others. And you will have to continue on as great people, while also growing that ability in others. This is what lies ahead. I am confident that you are up to the task, and I take great comfort in knowing that the future is in your very capable hands. Congratulations on your induction to the National Honor Society, and thank you for the contributions that you have made and are about to make to both Matawan Regional High School and the Matawan Aberdeen Regional School District. Thank you. I'd like to thank our advisors, Ms. Groninger and Ms. Palumbo, and the members of the Induction Ceremony Committee for their hard work in organizing this year's induction ceremony. Please join me in thanking them with a round of applause. Thank you all for attending our NHS induction ceremony. In just a moment, the new inductees will recess after which you are all invited to grab a refreshment and light snack on your way out. But before doing so, please join me once again in applauding all of our new Honor Society members. Thank you. And now, will everyone please stand as our newest members of the National Honor Society recess. Thank you. 